real boxing fans, James Smith in Las Vegas from the Green Dasha Russian Grill and Hookah. I love the hookah. And we're with uh, unbeaten light heavyweight champion Sergey Kovalov, the crusher. He takes on Najib Mohamedy Saturday night from Mandalay Bay on HBO. First off, welcome, champ. Hello. Thank you. Actually, I get a chance to sit down with all the great po fighters past and present of today's crop. I don't know if Floyd's listening. You're like my favorite guy to watch for some of the reasons we'll get into. One is that I consider you to be the best puncher in all of boxing. First off, at, at age 32, great amateur career, unbeaten champion, uh, mostly knockouts. In terms of peak, where do you consider yourself as a fighter? One to ten, ten being the highest, highest where are you at as a fighter, in your opinion? Um, you know, I, I cannot to give me myself as a, like how many, one or ten, you know, like, because uh, from the side people uh, can see much better and uh, they can say their opinion, you know, but I'm just a regular boxer, I think so, and uh, just uh, have a some goals that they should to get and I must to get these goals and uh, and my goals my, and my next goal to get victory over uh, Najib Mohammed this Saturday you know at 32 yes and, and I watched you um, you're not gonna really get fighters aren't gonna get faster or hit harder but they still can get better one of the guy who's proven that good friend of mine Bernard Hopkins you took him on a couple of fights ago and you handled him. In fact, when you hit him with that first hard shot, I saw a look in Bernard's eyes that I've never seen before. Because uh, when you hit people, they stay hit. But other than a victory, what did you take from that fight with Hopkins that can help you improve? Patience, I would think. He's one of the most patient fighters. What did you learn from that fight? Yeah, you're right. Uh, I got a big lesson that I'm, as a boxer, uh, must to have a good patience for all fight since uh, first f uh, round to over of 12 rounds you know because uh, you never know uh, when your punch can be it can give you success you know it's uh, it's boxing any punch uh, can be lost as for you and as for your opponent and you should to get uh, you should to have cold mind and uh, still to fight and looking for your goal. I think the fact that that fight went the distance was maybe a good thing for you because, you know, you're so used to knocking guys out, but that fight you had to regroup and reset and, and, and box a little bit and figure him out. Uh, so I think the 12 rounds did you good. Yeah, it, it, it was not easy to fight against Bernard Hopkins that I won uh, every fight, uh, every round. And uh, I was happy that uh, I did what I did, you know, like it's uh, my plan uh, worked it uh, round by round. And uh, I was surprised that uh, after my punches, uh, after first knockdown in the first round, uh, Bernard stand up uh, very fast and he <laughs> even uh, didn't want to like... Uh, Shake it, you know, like it was like a uh, look at fresh and uh, fought all 12 rounds. Like it was a, a mind uh, fight, you know, fi fight of the minds yeah. because he's uh, very smart and he's uh, also very dangerous. But he he catch me a couple uh, times in 10 rounds, 10 rounds, and uh, that. I was uh, stronger because maybe I'm uh, younger or I don't know. From the side, uh, you can see much better. With Sergey Kovalov, he takes on Najib Mohamedy on a Saturday night from Mandalay Bay on HBO. You, you have power in both hands, and that's rare. M most fighters have the left hook or the right hand. But you know what I think your best punch is in studying you? I think it's your left jab because your left jab sets up everything, it stabilizes the, uh, the opponent. Talk about the, the crusher left jab. Uh, my, 
my crusher left Jeff. <laughs> I got maybe from the, a lot of uh, work uh, since amateur because uh, my coach in, in amateur career uh, pushed me all time. You need, you should to, you must to use your uh, left jab. Is the your best uh, most uh, important punch in boxing? Yes, yes, and, and this too. And you can you can to do is very uh, this very good. Other to the body, other to the head, you know. But I like it punched only from the right because I'm right-handed, right? But uh, right now, when I turn to pro, I got attention for the both hands because uh, professional box boxing is definitely different. And uh, right now, I'm very happy that uh, my both hands are working and uh, get results. Yeah, keep using that jab. I've interviewed for some of the greatest punchers in the history of boxing, guys like Ernie Shavers and, 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 and Mike Tyson and others, and they all say to me that power, pure punching power, is God-given. You can, you can improve your power with leverage and different things, but great punchers are born punchers. When did you first realize that, damn, I really can pop? When did you realize you could really hit hard? Um, I don't think so. That it's uh, very hard. My punches. Uh, it's, Trust uh, me, they're hard. <laughs> Did you try? It? <laughs> I haven't been hit by you, but they're no, hard. I, I, I think so. No, it's just uh, maybe the right timing. Yeah. Right timing uh, means a lot too, you know. And also, maybe my bones are heavy. I don't know. Like, uh, but I, I, I'm not uh, doing power lifting. I'm not uh, getting a lot of weights. Like, I just. Uh, to use a natural but, uh, yeah, it's, yeah it's my natural maybe you know like, i don't know and i i, I <laughs> uh i didn't feel myself uh how was pain from my from my fist is from well, my you know tommy hearns look how damn skinny he was and tommy hearns <laughs> yeah he tommy people, Hearns. Is, they stayed yeah, hit his was leverage but my, whatever my, it is you got it let's talk about saturday night in mohemedy I studied some film on the guy, a real herky-jerky kind of fighter. Very, he made me nervous watching him. What do you think of him as a fighter? Uh, as a, uh, you mean uh, Najib Muhammad, yes. right? Uh, I think so. He's uh, right now very dangerous. He's the most dangerous that, uh, that before he was before because right now he's very motivated. And uh, maybe inside him he's very, uh, he a little bit scared, you know. But when people scare, and very motivated, yes, they were dangerous, you know, like, and uh, I have attention for this uh, to get, I, I got attention for this because he has a really, like, a big motivation, three titles on the, on the top. Uh, right now he's fighting uh, as a contender number one, it's, like, meaning a lot, too, it's... Uh, so that means you have to stay focused. Yeah, yeah. I stay focused and... Uh, I'm ready for this fight for 100 percent because uh, it's the uh, biggest fight right now for me. Uh, I mean, uh, in, in in Las Vegas, you know, it's a your second fight here. Yeah, but first time on TV. Yeah, it uh, means a lot, you know, uh, like uh, push me. It's push me and uh, motivated too. Yeah. We both right now motivated as me as one. I'm scared too to 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 lose and to get a bad show to the people. And right now I'm very motivated and I will do everything for the great show. And you got a lot of big stuff beyond this fight. Um, I remember telling Floyd and Manny to their faces over the past you know, years, why aren't you guys fighting? Make the damn fight. It's really obvious to me and to boxing fans that Adonis Stevenson wants no part of you. Uh, I feel like you really want that fight and have wanted that fight what do you think after Saturday night with a victory? How close is that fight to being made, or or, or is it more realistic that you'll fight my other buddy Andre Ward? You know, I, uh, it's not my job. First of all, uh, I'm ready for the fight <clears throat> with any opponent who deserve uh, this fight. You know, and uh, right now I don't see any reason to uh, speak about uh, Adonis piece of shit Stevenson because he's really. Uh, not real champion. He's avoided me uh, already a lot of times, but they put uh, like a purse beat, uh, something, you know, like, uh, come on, I have three titles, you have a one. Let's go fight on HBO, it's the best channel 
uh, in America and I think so, maybe in the world. And they built his as a prof uh, champion, as a world champion. And he forgot to turn, uh, turn away from there. It's not, it's not polite, it's not right. And right now, yes, and right now I put the three titles, he put the one titles. We split uh, uh, our purse 50-50. Why not? Yeah. Why not? I think it might have to do with something to do with the punching power that we mentioned, and he, he's a little chinny, you know. But w what about on, on Andre Ward? I know you think he's a great fighter, and w what about that fight? Is that, does that interest you? Uh, yes, this fight interesting too, uh, but right now Andre Ward still to fight 172, probably uh, last fight. Uh, and uh, listen, I don't, I don't care who who fighting, you know. Like if he will uh, will come uh, 175 and ready to fight, like it's a uh, fight uh, should be very interesting for the boxing fans and for our myself, for him, for me, you know. And I'm gonna to get. Uh, again, like uh, some experience from this fight, you know, uh, I, w I would like to boxing with the best boxers because when you're fighting with the best fighters, you get a good experience and you growing up and you getting better. How important is your Russian heritage to you? How important is that? It's uh, one part uh, of important too, you know, because uh, right now. Uh, my friends and uh, that people there, uh, I, I, I grew up, uh, watch me, watch my fight and getting uh, like a sample from me, you know. A lot of my friends, a lot of uh, my fans and friends uh, write me and text me like, oh, Sergey, thank you very much for your, uh, this fight. I, gonna, I got like a uh, boxing gym too, or I, I, I stopped to smoking. Somebody, I stopped to, I, I stopped to drinking, you know, like uh, at all, alco alcohol at all, you know, and started to running every day. Like you motivate me, you know. It's very, I'm very happy to hear it, and uh, I'm very happy that I, I'm as a sample for some people who want to be and to get better. Okay. Well, look into that camera and tell the folks what's going to happen on Saturday night. What, what's going to happen? Saturday night will be a very great show. Welcome to Mandalay Bay and, uh, and HBO.